Hello, my friends. This is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I am excited to be here with you today. You may notice that I sound a little stuffy. Um, I may cough a little bit and sniffle, and we're just going to do our best to get through. <laughs> Um, I did get hit with the crud, the one and only, uh, my whole family did. I got it last, so I'm still in recovery mode. They've pretty much fully recovered. Um, and I'm just fatigued and I still have some sniffles. So, um, we are going to make a double Z fold card today. And this one's just a little bit different. Now, this is my creative inspiration calendar. I release one of these every single month to my email list. If you're not already on my email list, you can join it by going to the description below this video, scrolling all the way to the bottom and clicking the link that says get my emails. After you do that, you're going to want to confirm in your email that you want to subscribe and then you will start receiving emails from me. Um, I do not spam. I try not to just send you a bunch of junk. I send this out every month and then I send other information information through the month. Um, this is the host code for the month of July. And if you place a $40 online order with me, you will receive these festive pearls for free. They're so gorgeous. I absolutely love these and they really can be used for any occasion because of the colors. Um, so that'll be free from me. Those will get mailed around the end of July, beginning of August. And if you placed an order with me in June and you're still waiting on your free gift, it is here in the building. I just haven't mailed them yet. I am really behind on so many things. Getting sick for a week definitely threw me off my game. So please just be patient with me and you will get your free gift if you placed an order in June. Okay. We are going to use this Hippest Hippos stamp set today. Um, this is a stamp set that is free with a $50 online order. So there is a link below my video where you can shop with me. And when you place the $50 online order, you can choose to get this for free. Stampin' Up! is doing celebration right now, which most people know about but it's just a promotion they run for a couple of months and there's all these free gifts that you can choose when you order 50 or $100 in product. If you were to order $100, you could choose to add the dies that coordinate with the hippos onto your order and these would both be completely free. So we're not gonna use the dies today, we're just using the stamp set because I'll be honest, I am doing my best. Um, I pulled this card together pretty last minute because I just have not felt well enough to be in my office at all. In fact, this is the first time I've put stamp to paper in over, well over seven days. So here we go. We'll see how it turns out, shall we? Okay, we're gonna start out with a piece of Coastal Cabana at four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have a piece of basic black cardstock and it is cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down. Okay. I hope you're all well today. Make sure you message in and tell me where you're visiting from, what your weather's like. It's a hundred here today. Nice and toasty. Okay, now we have a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock cut at four by nine and three quarters. We're going to put it in our trimmer at the one inch mark, and we are gonna cut from three inches, and I'm using my bar over here, three inches to seven and a half. Okay, then we're gonna turn our cardstock with the slit at the bottom. We're gonna line it up at three inches, and we're gonna score just to our cut mark. So down to three inches. Then we're gonna move it over to five and a quarter and we're gonna score all the way down. Okay. Now, where's my dang score line? There it is. 
we can fold this part. This takes a little finesse. Well, you know what? Let's just fold this this way for now. There we go. Okay, so then, oh, I should have scored right here too. Is that right? Hold on. Let me think. Yeah. I will we'll score just to that one inch mark where we cut. Okay. <coughs> All right. And then this folds over like so. This is not cooperating. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna use my bone folder to crease these edges. Did I do this wrong? Sorry, you guys. Give me a moment, will you? Is it supposed to go this way? No. No, that's right. Okay. So it folds flat like this, okay? So then you can adhere this entire piece to your front, but you don't want, you want to make sure that you don't glue this part down. So you're just putting glue on this area here. Okay. And then I like to fold it flat. And we're gonna line it up as best we can into the center. Kinda hard when I can't with the camera in the way. And then there we have it. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now we're gonna add our other pieces. We have a piece that's gonna go in the center. And this is the sentiment. It says, ah, you really are the best. And then we've got a piece, by the way, this is cut at four and a quarter by two and three quarters, okay? Let's glue this piece down. And I will definitely be looking at your comments and chatting with you guys when I get this finished up. I just can't do it while I'm creating. Okay, and then We've got a piece of two and five eighths by two and five eighths white, basic white. And we're gonna stamp our little hippo right in the center. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do some coloring. Okay, I'm gonna keep my coloring extremely simple because I knew that I would still be very fatigued doing this and I wanted to keep this card as simple as humanly possible but I still have been missing visiting with you guys and being on my YouTube channel so I figure being here is better than not right even if we have to keep the card really simple Okay, toenails. I should have painted the toenails pink, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, so that's light smoky slate. I mean, uh, dark, excuse me. And then this is light smoky slate. So I'm just gonna go in and color. The rest of the hippo with the light. So I did the dark in the middle of the tummy and on the nose. I don't really know what this is called. Is it called a muzzle, a snout on a hippo? I don't know. 
a little pink flower. That's Melon Mambo. This is Parakeet Party. And then we have a piece of basic black cut at two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Okay, and then our little hippo. It's gonna go here. Okay, and then we can add a strip down here of designer paper or whatever your heart desires. I'm gonna leave it blank for the moment because I wanted to look at your comments, but isn't this cute? Really cute, really simple card, very easy to make, and you could do it with all kinds of different designs. Okay, let's see what you guys have been up to. Hello in Oregon. Let's see. Just saw a card making hippos into cows. Really cute. Another use. That is a good idea. Hello in North Carolina. I missed the very beginning. Um, yes, Sandra, you are correct. Thank you, everyone. Hello, hello, New Hampshire. We are feeling better, thank you. Hello, hello. Yes, so, um, Clarence Rack updating tonight, I heard on Facebook. So it's actually, I'm pretty sure the clearance rack is only updating for Europe. I don't think that it's updating for the US is my understanding, but I could be wrong. So I'm pretty sure though it's only in Europe. They received a shipment of product really mm -hmm. late um, because you know, shipping, global shipping crisis. Um, and so they basically were like, we have to put this stuff on the clearance rack. So that's what's happening. Um, yes, we had the ick last week in our house. It has not been that bad, um, for us. Well, there was a couple days where it was pretty bad, but, um, you know, fever, body aches, that kind of thing, but we all are coming out of it and, um, Yeah, so we're all coming out of it. My husband's back at work today. My daughter went to swim team yesterday. She took today off. She's, you know, the fatigue is real. Like, it's legit. So um, I'm just taking it easy when I need to. And, you know, this card is not the most stellar card I've ever made in my life. But I'm here. I did it. And I'm going to take a picture of it and put it on um, my blog. And hopefully, um, just as time progresses here in the next few days, I will just continue to feel better and better and better and have more and more energy, but also not pushing it, just resting when my body needs to rest. Like after this, I will probably go take a nap. So um, I am happy to be here with you guys though. And I have a team thing tonight where uh, my friend Sandra is going to go live for me so I don't have to. And I'm going to post all of our awards and recognition for our team. So, you know, we're plugging along. It, you know, it's a virus. When you get sick, you get sick. And then you go, you have to go through the motions of getting better. And that's just how it is. So anyway, Thank you all so much for being here. I know this is a really short live. If you need any Stampin' Up! products, I always appreciate it when you shop with me using this host code through July, get you these free goodies. And of course, there's all the free gifts that Celebration has to offer. I'll have those on my blog today too. I'll talk to you guys again soon and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'm gonna try really hard to be here on Saturday with a pre-recorded video for you, but... If it doesn't happen, you know it's just because I'm 
letting my body heal and rest and do what it needs to do. So we're going to try, but other than that, we're, we're doing good. Nobody went to the hospital. Everybody's okay. Everybody's, you know, functioning and we're just tired, just like you are with any, any kind of butt flu bug, um, just tired afterwards. So, all right. I'll talk to you guys again soon and to take care.